Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. Today's project features the Little Cuties stamp set. I love this set. Today we're going to use this cute little chick and the Celebrate Easter sentiment. So if you saw my tutorial on Wednesday, I shared with you how to make this adorable Easter card and I told you that today I would share a coordinating treat bag that matches this card. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little Easter treat to go along with this card. I love this little treat. I love how clean and simple the look of this card and treat bag are. And then you've got this beautiful pop of color with the Easter candies. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make this quick and simple treat bag. Alrighty, so we're actually going to start by doing some punching. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here. This is the regular Whisper White, and I've got some Dazzling Diamonds cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and use my decorative label punch to punch out my Whisper White layer. And then I'm going to also punch out the Dazzling Diamonds. Okay, so we can set the Dazzling Diamonds to the side, and we're going to stamp on this Whisper White piece using the Basic Gray Archival ink. So I'm just going to ink up my little chick here and stamp that right here on my label. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to stamp the Celebrate Easter sentiment right here at the top. I'll do right about there. There we go. So now I'm going to bring in my pumpkin pie uh, stamp and write marker and I'm going to use the uh, pen tip and I'm just going to color in the little beak and then the legs and feet. Okay, just like that. Okay, so let me just bring that in up close so that you can see how that looks. So cute. Just a little bit of color there on our chick. All right, so now I'm going to take this Dazzling Diamonds piece and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this in half. This is a really fun trick to get some extra use out of your punches. Okay, so now that we've cut that, what we can do is we can actually place our chick and create a little border using the the bracket so that it looks like we've got a little extra border there. So what I'm going to do is just snip off these ends here so that those don't get in the way. Just snip off those little points. Okay, and then we can just put some adhesive on both sides of this layer like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to line up the sides here to get the border that I want. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, and there we go. And we've got this nice little border of the Dazzling Diamonds Glimmer Paper. All right, so now we can start assembling our topper to go on our treat bag. So for our treat bag, I'm using our two by eight inch cello bags. These are in the annual catalog. These are really, really fun to use. So I've got some pieces here for our topper. I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. This is cut at two and a quarter inches by five inches, and I have scored it at two and a half inches. Then I've got a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock. This is cut at two inches by two and a quarter inches. And then I've got some Smoky Slate Designer Series paper from the Designer Series paper stack in the Neutrals collection, and this is cut at an inch and three quarters by two inches. I know that was a lot of measurements, but these measurements will be over on today's coordinating blog post, which is linked below the video in the description notes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my Smoky Slate piece, uh, or my Designer Series paper down to my Smoky Slate piece. And for this treat bag, I am using candies that are unwrapped um, because I'm giving these treats to family members. If, if these weren't going to family members, I would use a wrapped 
a wrapped candy instead. But um, these candies, this is called Egg, Giant Egg Ruptions. I've never had these before, but I liked the colors and it said they were sour and sour is my favorite candy. So that's why I chose them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my Celebrate Easter onto this layer. And I'm gonna do that with dimensionals. Alrighty, so I've got my dimensionals here. And I'm just going to put dimensionals down this center piece here, just like that. And now we can take off the backings. Okay, and we can just add this in the center here. Right about there looks good. So cute. And then I'm gonna take my topper in Daffodil Delight, just crease that, and I'm gonna add this right on top of my treat bag, and I'm gonna use my Stampin' Up! handheld stapler. This is retired, but you can use any stapler to do that. And then I'm just gonna add some fast fuse, and we will cover up that staple with our little layer here. So I'm just gonna center this on. Okay, and we've got one final thing to add. I'm going to add one of the Daffodil Delight enamel shapes. Love these. We'll just put one of the small ones right here. And there we go. That finishes this little treat. Love this little treat bag. Isn't that so cute? All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick and easy Easter treat tutorial. I had so much fun designing these two projects to share with you guys. You can find all of the supplies and measurements for today's project over on my coordinating blog post. I have linked it just below this video in the description notes. You can also find the supplies listed below as well with clickable links to take you straight to my online Stampin' Up! store. Remember, today is the last day of celebration, so if there's anything on your wish list that you haven't gotten, today is the day to get it, you guys. So thanks again for joining me and I will speak to you again very soon. Bye now.